Hello, ladies. Welcome. Have you ever felt so bad after men ghost you one after the next? You are saying your boundaries like, like you learned in my videos. You're saying no to uncommitted sex or maybe you are um, following the three months no kissing rule and you're just seeing that one man after the next is ghosting you. And what can you do about it? What can you do about it to feel better in this scenario, okay? I'd like to know, I'd like you to know one thing and that is that um, when a man goes to you, he's saving you time. So please celebrate that he um, left your life. Please celebrate that, okay? Because, um, because this man um, just wanted, you know, free girlfriends, free wives, free intimacy, everything free, um, but not taking any responsibility, not being a provider. So you are saving yourself so much time because you stay in the possibility of attracting a man that is going to um, choose you, choose to marry you instead of choosing the available body at this time because what is he choosing if he's leaving he says oh you're not kissing me you're not you know sleeping with me then i'm just gonna choose somebody else who's available and imagine imagine you are that somebody else who's chosen for the availability guess what happens then then women come to me and tell me oh i'm feeling used of course you are feeling used because he is using you he is using the available body at this time so therefore um i mean it is sometimes men's nature to want those things you know they have a high fertility cycle however it's not your job to um, do what they say. It's your job to take care of yourself, all right? So keep setting those boundaries. And every time, every time a man goes to just celebrate, be like, yes, somebody who wanted to use me is just gone. And I have um, space for the right one. So literally get up and dance. You know how uh, when you smile, you already start feeling happy? <laughs> So your body follows the actions that you are doing, okay? All right. And what else can you do in this moment? So first thing first, you celebrate it. Secondly, you focus more on yourself. I mean, if your self-love and self-worth is shaky and dependent on any outside sources, like men, people, clients, friends, I mean, I've been there before, so no judgment here, then you will feel very bad and ghosted and abandoned when somebody um, leaves or is gets mad after you set a boundary. And again, I'm the first one to admit that I used to be very um, emotionally dependent because I didn't have a sense of inner self-worth and self-love. So every time somebody would disapprove of me or even in the beginning from my career, when I got a negative comment, it would just affect me, okay? And then when this is when the inner work comes in, you have to be more stable from within emotionally. That's what I'm teaching you in my one-on-one um, coachings. Yeah. So if you're interested in that, please reach out to me because being emotionally independent and stable is so important for a marriage. So important for a long-term relationship. Okay. And um, who knows? Maybe you attract men that ghost you all the time because the universe says you're not ready for a long-term relationship yet. Okay, so work on yourself first so that it doesn't even bother you if somebody leaves because you feel good from inside, okay? And if you don't really understand what I'm saying, it's a sign that um, you have to work on that um, because people who are happy and are feeling worthy from within and they really don't care what happens on the outside they would get what i'm saying and those people are working it those are the people um, who shine bright that they are just being themselves all right 
So um, the last point, the last point would be to see how and why you are attracting those men who only want physical intimacy. Sometimes, um, <laughs> sometimes we can be too, you know, we can be too alluring to a man, even sexually. So make sure that, you know, you dress more modest and you speak more modest, really act like a lady. Because when a man thinks that you are so hot and, you know, he just wants to um, be, have physical intimacy with you, he is not in his provider mode. He is in his predator taker mode. So, you know, when you are too much in your sexual energy, which is fine when you're just by yourself, but when you're around men, they, it's activating, they, it's activating um, the taker mode. So make sure to be more modest and um, ladylike. I know this doesn't apply for every woman, but for the one that needs to hear that, it's important. And um, a personal example of that is that very in the beginning of my inner work journey, I... Um, I would just dress like a guy, I would act like a man, I would be talking, being like a man, and no man would find me attractive. And then I kind of learned about, you know, um, even like having this energy that is very alluring. And then I had this issue of men just wanting physical intimacy. And I realized, okay, I have to back off a little bit. I just have to be more ladylike, modest, um, just think about ladylike. I'm sure intuitively you would know um, how to behave then. All right. Okay, so that's the last uh, that's the um, last step. Although one more thing is that um, in if you are also in your masculine energy so much, then you also might have this issue of attracting only men who are predators, not providers. A provider would want to protect you, cherish your feelings, and would want um, long-term commitment, all of that. So if you're in your masculine energy and you kind of want to be respected for your choices, for your thoughts, for your accomplishments, then it's more likely for you to attract um, to attract a um, feminine man, a man who wants to take from you. So I've heard everything. They want to take the money, they want to take, you know, a physical interviews or whatever. And then again, it's important um, to learn how to be the reciprocal of a man who is providing for you. Okay, so that's also something you're learning in my one-on-one coaching. I have so many amazing examples of my private clients want um, wanting to attract provider men and they used you know they started attract like they started out um when they started out coaching with me they just were attracting men who um who just took from them were inconsistent did, didn't even want to be in a short-term committed relationship and after that they started attracting providers buying them stuff wanting long-term relationship all of that and it's it can happen very fast so this shift can happen very fast okay so if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching make sure to reach out to me at the end of april i have two more free coaching spots left so um, make sure to dm me when interested and if you like this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe um, to my channel. All right, thank you so much for watching.